My dear colleagues, I'm Pali Iriase. I represent Onwa Federal Constituency. I'm from Edo State. Let me join others in appreciating my colleague who has brought this motion and to say from the outset that this motion, the prayer ought to be wider reaching because there is no one here who is not under siege, who is not afraid these days. As I speak to you, Mr. Speaker, out of frustration, I've had to address the press this morning concerning the happenings in my rural constituency. Yes, Kaduna Road ought to be a no-go area for, for criminals. So if they are on the rampage there, you can imagine what is happening in the road, on the road that leads to my place. Every blessed day, the road from Iheweube to Otwa witnesses people being picked up like chicken on the way. They are no more discriminatory about who they pick. All that happens now is that they put adequate price tag depending on your status. And they do this thing with impunity. Mr. Speaker, I believe that there is no cooperation between the between the agencies that our security agencies on this matter. Because in my my own experience in Edo North is that there are camps in the forests that are in the area. Those camps are safe haven for these bandits. Unfortunately, these days, when kidnappers, bare-faced criminals and bandits are doing their thing, we sweep it under the now very familiar carpet of uh, uh, hearts men. Honestly, this thing, we need to look beyond calling every of this atrocity hearts men. I believe that Boko Haram elements have infiltrated several places in Nigeria and they have found easy recruitment in the, in the hordes of unemployed youth. And they, because the kind of weapons that they brandish, that they have, as such that are very difficult to come by. Kidnappers are wielding machine guns. AK-47 is the smallest of their weaponry. Now, so even when you set up vigilante groups in your, in your locality, by the time they hear the report from their, from their weapons, they take flight. So, in, in a nutshell, Mr. Speaker, this House must urge the security forces to now sit down, brainstorm on what to do. Like the mover of this motion has said, discovering where these people have established camps is very easy to, to discover. We'll be hearing of buying of helicopters and all that. Why don't you fly over some of these places? You will see these camps. And for me, if we do not go dislodging these elements from the camps where they have already taken root, right now they are making more money from kidnapping, and that is emboldening them. And I believe that one of these days, isolated kidnapping will become the raiding of whole township communities and all that. 
So I believe that this motion, we should use the opportunity of it to get both the Inspector General of Police and the Chief of Defense Staff to sit down together and come up with a blueprint as to how to stop this kidnapping. They will be able to do it. They are the only ones who can you know, find the facilities and they have the training to outwit these kidnappers. Anybody who is looking at kidnapping as just a child's play today is not a patriotic Nigerian. Because how far can you fly? Today we go to Edo State, some of us who can easily pass Okene down to our communities, we no longer do that because along that route, people get picked like, <laughs> I mean like mere objects. And so you take flight to Benin City. When you are coming, where are you going to pass? You are again going to pass, you know, the road that is also highly infested by, by uh, kidnappers. What we have is that we have these police stationed, I mean, they stationed their hillocked vehicles in one spot there, and people are getting picked. Before they come around, these people have taken their victims into the bush. So I am asking, Mr. Mr. Speaker, that they should change the method and let there be interagency cooperation among the security agencies, particularly. It is not enough for Mr. Inspector General to say it will become a thing of the past very shortly. How is it going to become a thing of the past? Certainly we haven't seen. And it is beyond just the police alone. The military must take part in this in this war, it is a war against criminals. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.